Joining us in studio is a guest who's known Queen Elizabeth from up close, Charles Green, who before moving to Israel from the UK in 2013, I believe, spent two decades as the Queen's official photographer. Uh, Charles, thanks for joining us. Uh, first of all, I understand you simply sort of answered an advertisement to become the official photographer to the Queen. No, not at all. No. Okay, okay. No. Not an advertisement, but uh, a... No, okay. you, to be honest, you can't do that. If you okay. want to work at the palace, they have to uh, ask you. You never, ever okay. apply for anything because they, they don't like okay. it. They want to have you. I didn't even even know about, I was the official investiture photography. That's when the people have become right. knights uh, and uh, OBEs, MBEs, DBs, when they get the awards and the Queen puts on them, mm -hmm. uh, their, their gongs and everything. And I didn't even know about anything about it. I was a photographer. I was a wedding, a mitzvah, right. portrait photographer. And I was doing very well. I was quite well known. I had a lot of customers and I wasn't looking for more work. And while I was away in Israel and I, on holiday, I came back and my answering machine um, was on. And I heard a message and it said in a very very nice voice, a very posh voice. It said, this is Buckingham Palace here. Uh, we've been given your name. Uh, would you like to come and see us um, for the position of investiture photographer to your, Mar your Majesty the Queen? So first of all, I thought it's a joke because I thought that, you know, you don't, uh, people don't really get calls from the palace like that. But I thought I might as well ring. I dialed the number, asked for the person who was there. It was Buckingham Palace and it was the man who who was on the machine, who left the answering machine message. And uh, he said, yes, sir, would, would, would you like to come for an interview? And I didn't know anything about it or what I need to do, but I thought I'd come for an interview. At least I've been in the palace because not many people in those days could enter the palace. Right, so from Bar Mitzvah for photography to Buckingham Palace, yeah. uh, what was the Queen like as a, sub, as a uh, well, as your subject, <laughs> as a photography subject? Oh, she's amazing. First of all, she's the most um, remarkable person in the world. I think there's nobody else like her. I mean, she, she was been working for, for 70 years doing the same job, basically, and she does it with such dedication and devotion. And I don't think anybody else could do a job like she does so well with so much sensitivity. So I'm really, I love her. Um, and to photograph her was also was a pleasure because she, you, you don't speak to her. She is introduced, you introduce right. to her, and then once she speaks to you, then you just talk quite normally as if it's a regular human being, as if I'm speaking to you now. But first of all, she has to speak to you. And once she's spoken and we have a conversation, she's just like anybody else and she'll have jokes and she'll question you and she'll ask questions and she's interested in everything. And every person she meets, she's interested in what they do, where they've been, what they're, why they've come here. And she, I think every person she's met, which must be millions in the last 70 years, because she meets hundreds a day, thousands a week, maybe millions she's spoken to. And every person who's ever met her and she's spoken to will remember what she asked them and what they answered. And it'll be something, it'll be etched in their memory. It's such a, a wonderful thing that somebody is so interested and so sincere. She shows sincerity when she speaks to somebody. She's so sincere how she asks them questions and, and she makes comments about that, that they've said and uh, she's wonderful. All right. Well, uh, thanks for joining us on her Platinum Jubilee. And I guess we can still say uh, on her 95th birthday, long live the Queen. Please God, yes. Okay. Charles Green, thank you for joining us thank on you. The Rundown.